literally this hair was so new um on monday and i planned to do so many videos with it but i couldn't i've had like a very rough like one week the past week for me was very crazy um if someone told me that i'd have to deal with some of the things that i've had to deal with i would never have believed them you know women we go the extra mile you work hard you set money aside just so that you don't have to deal with certain things and still you, the nonsense will come and meet you in your house i can't really get into details right now but i was just basically dealing with bullies um the whole thing got so bad at a point that you know you just <laughs> god the whole thing got so bad at a point that we had to get the police involved i had to get lawyers involved before we could even reach a resolution so i'm talking about people who i me chasing my entire contractual agreement with but they refused to speak to me because i was a woman so for us to even get to where we are now i had to involve male family you know that? like guys i pay for something and then when i begin to ask questions you refuse to speak to me <laughs> you refuse to speak to me when we talk about misogyny and how deep it runs here yeah, women begin to talk we come on twitter sometimes to talk and then there's a lot of gaslighting there's a lot of gaslighting. Um, a lot of you, because I've kind of shared why I've kind of been low-key quiet um, this past week. And a lot of you reached out just trying to figure out if I was fine. I'm fine, but I just feel like for the record, I have to come, out here, come on here and explain what had happened. Um, this is still something that is still being worked on. I can't get into details especially right now, but just know that me not putting out content to you guys, it wasn't just as a result of me not wanting to i was forced not to but guys don't worry don't worry like i don't really want you guys to worry about me we are on top of all of this right now and i'm really not the person that <laughs> guys i've dealt with bullies before like i've dealt with them i even in university like i've even come here and told you guys a story so that's the reason why at this point in my life like you cannot expect me to roll over when you push you're going to have to answer questions you're going to treat me the same way you treat the, my male counterparts if you don't <laughs> just get ready for the way that i'm going to react you know we're still in a country where like women would work sometimes way harder than men women can afford a lot of the things that men can afford now but then people still re refuse to accord them respect so if it's not your gender that they are using to justify it it is your age so imagine when you're trying to communicate with people so you start out polite start very gradually very polite can you please tell me when this will happen oh they promise you oh in next month can you please tell me when this will happen they tell you in two months can you please tell me when this will happen in three months and then you keep accommodating them you keep accommodating them on top of your own money and then when you've had it like when you're tired of being ignored and lied to and then you change it for them it becomes like Oh, it's an attitude problem. She has an attitude. Oh, she shouldn't talk to me like that. They forget that you've been trying to talk to them politely, trying to reach out to them and they were ignoring you. It's all right. Guys, it's really all right. But I wanted you guys to know this. I really wanted to say it here. Because I don't want somebody to come out and say, oh, you didn't even mention this at any point. I've told you people now. I've mentioned it here. Right? Um, Today is Jola's birthday. Guys, my hair. Look at it. <sighs> I'm going to put on a hat and go there to eat. I need to eat because I'm hungry. My hair basically looks like what I've been through this week. That's the truth. So why are you taking a picture okay. for boomerangs? Anything else? Birthday girl. <laughs> <laughs> you guys see me on food. This is how hungry I am. Okay. Okay. This is all fries. And I have a burger here with turkey. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jola. Troublemaker. Happy birthday. I just got my hair redone it's still very wet i know that this angle is weird but 
it looks the way that I want it to. So I have a lot of admin work to do right now. And then I also have a lot of packages that came in that I have to unbox. This is everything that came in the past week. This is the only thing that I have unboxed. Okay, so this, I unboxed it for Instagram. I couldn't even attend this event again. I was supposed to attend this event. So let me open these up. Some of them I might actually not be able to show you guys right now. But let me just open everything up. I'm going to sit down here to unbox. I have my scissors already. I've told you guys before about how I wear my t-shirts until they die. So nobody should say, oh, Dima, you have a hole on your shirt. No, okay? It's like that, I know. So starting out with this package first. This one is from Honey Beauty. So I already talked about this brand on Instagram, I think last week, or maybe by the time this video goes up, actually two weeks ago. Um, it's a new Nigerian brand and it's called Honey Beauty. They launched two weeks ago. Let me open this up. Oh my God. Okay, I need to show you guys this. So you open it up, guys. They use my picture. This picture is on my Instagram. I'm going to see if I can find it and insert it somewhere here. But they used it for the PR package. There's a card here that shows their products and kind of just talks about the brand and all of that. I love how just like the quality of the print. This might just sound so random to you guys, but guys, this is actually a problem I think that we tend to have here. Sometimes when you receive boxes or PR items from brands, you see that like a lot of thought went into the actual design but then i think that when it comes to the execution sometimes the print is of such poor quality the quality of this is really good like i said this is random and doesn't really have anything to do with the products but it says always make room for a little sweetness and there is my name on the box guys this box is so cute so these are the products in here this one is an eyeshadow palette this one is also an eyeshadow palette there is an eyebrow pencil, two eyebrow pencils, and one mascara. So this particular one is a Sweet Honey eyeshadow palette. This is so cute, and I just love, love the packaging. You guys know that I'm a very big fan of line drawing, like line art. And I just love the way they incorporated it into their branding, okay? So this palette that I just showed you guys is Sweet Honey. Honey Plum is pink. Yep. So these have like pinks in them and to be honest these are my moods most of the time if anybody has paid close attention i gravitate towards like oranges and browns and golds and nudes or this this particular like palette the color scheme you have in this like i love creating looks with them so the two palettes up close the eyebrow pencils there are two shades so one is not brown which i assume is a lighter brown and there is dark brown, which is obviously a darker brown too. So. so lighter one here, not brown. Darker one here, dark brown. And last thing I have here is this. This is your mascara. It's a volumizing mascara. I'm going to create a look with all of these very soon on Instagram. Hopefully by next week, the video should be up. But I'll refer to this particular unboxing in that video. Ooh, okay. I love the shape of this. I actually thought it was going to be like, it kind of widens, you know? This is a mascara. So yeah, I'm definitely going to create a look with these products for you guys to see. But like I said, this is a Nigerian brand. They deliver nationwide and they also deliver worldwide as well. I have their website linked in the description box. So next packages that I have are from Huda Beauty. So yeah, these are the lip contour products that I've just received. But then the thing here is guys, I actually didn't receive any of the darker colors. I didn't receive any of the darker colors. And these are so soft and they've swatched so well. So I think that I'll actually have to buy the very like dark brown with my money. But these, ugh, they've performed so well. I have sisters that are very, very light, much lighter than I am. So I might have to give these to them. But let me show you the actual lipsticks that come in this set. You can use these, I believe, to create a very, very, very nice nude lip combo. But I like these, like, I like the way that they've swatched and everything. So I think that I'll actually go to their website and get shades that I like a lot better. That's how I am, 
like that's how i do i remember when they sent me foundations like i really like them but i didn't really get my shade so i went to their website and i ordered my exact shades just because of the way that the products performed on me this other one is from huda beauty too hmm. This is skincare. Oh, yeah. So this is skincare products. This is the Yield Detox Face and Body Enzyme Scrub. So this is the new one that they have for the face and body. Yeah. I think that this is perfume. Every time I see Kelly on anything, I know that it's perfume from them. So this is Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper, I believe. This particular scent that I have here. So this is what the perfume looks like. The bottle is really, really cute. So this is the Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper. Uh, let me spray this. Guys, this is so good. Wow, let me also open the atomizer to show you guys what the bottle looks like. Oh, the bottle is so cute. Gold. Um... And no one will even know what this is when it pops out of your bag. I love the color so, so much. This next um, package is actually an order that I placed on Amazon. I got three Starbucks cups. I want to start like mixing drinks and trying mocktails and stuff like that. Just make my drinks more exciting. So I got three Starbucks cups. These are reusable cups, not the ones that you throw out. See? They look like this. We don't have Starbucks in Nigeria, if you're wondering. No, we do not. But I saw someone, I saw someone make drinks with this on YouTube and it looked so good. Like, and I'm like, yeah, if this is going to make my drinks look more exciting, then yes, 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 yes. They come with three straws, three caps. So it was like a deal. I'm going to have it linked in the description box in case you're interested in getting this. Okay. Um, I have to go to Miniso actually for glass bottles, but I got a, a glass bottle. And this comes with two straws. It comes with two straws. And it has a bamboo lid. Looks good. Yeah. I'm going to make good looking drinks with this. This, I don't know what this is. I don't know who sent it to me. I don't know where it is from. There's no English on the package. It says beauty products. These, this box is from Poland. And normally before I get an international package like this, I remember clearly who I was speaking to or who is responsible for sending. But I don't know. Guys, this is from Pixie. This is from Pixie. Guys, my Pixie products always come one via DHL and then they always come from the UK. Like they're shipped from the UK via DHL. That's what confused me because I was like, who is sending me stuff from Poland? And this is so cute. So this is a very nice backpack. I'm going to review these and tell you guys what I think, but let me open it up, okay? So these are the pre products that we have in here. One is a body polish, aka scrub. One is a cleanser and one is a balm, aka moisturizer. So even the cleanser is aka shower gel. Next thing I have here are clothes from a brand called Vidroli. God, please, I hope I'm not betraying that fashion. I think I have about three, four outfits here. Should I try them on? This is the first um, outfit <laughs> in the package. It's a two-piece. It comes with this very long jacket and then palazzo pants. The thing that I'm wearing inside is mine. But I think that this is cute, you know? I think that this is really cute. And it has pockets. Like, I love it when things like this have pockets. Just like makes everything very easy i like this two piece the brand name is yeah big guys pronounce this yourselves because i know i am butchering it so this is the next one i actually like this a lot because when i first like took it out i was like okay i'm not sure but i like this a lot i can wear this to so many places including church i'm going to go back hopefully you guys can still hear me and it even comes with a belt right you can wear it like this if you want but then there's a belt that you just tie in the waist you see it kind of brings everything together and i also love hold on i also love the fact that the, like it was made like this so one shoulder just drops off on purpose you can't pull it up it's just the way that the neckline was cut guys i like this like i like it a lot 
Guys, this dress is so pretty. This is the third one. This is a very nice Ankara dress. Very nice Ankara dress. I love the way it flares out at the hips. It's not even too short for me because I kind of worried that it would be a little bit too short. It's not. I can wear this to so many things, out for so many things. Bro, guys, these outfits are so nice. So, so nice. So this is the last item that I received. This is a kimono. It's really big and it's long and I like that. It also comes with a belt. I don't think that I'll ever ever wear this with a belt. But um, when I try to tie it up, you know, if you actually tie this up, it, 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 turns, it turns into a dress. That's how big it is. You know, if you tie it up firmly, like cross it in front, it overlaps. And then it turns into a dress like nobody will even like really know what you're wearing inside you know and i think that depending on how you want to style it this you know does come in handy but i personally <laughs> i don't think i'm going to wear it like that so i think i'm going to leave it open like this when i wear it so i'm going to have um all of these like everything that i tried on linked in the description box and i'm also going to have the website and the instagram handle of this particular brand linked in the description box so yes good morning <laughs> this vlog is not going to be like super duper exciting i don't even think i'm going to wear makeup because i think i'm going to try to round it up so that i can just work towards uploading it um i've just woken up from sleep my face is a bit puffy one thing that I'm really excited about is that my mom sent me food. She was like, Mama, tell me what you want. Just place your order. And she cooked and cooked and cooked. And she sent it. Um, it was supposed to come yesterday evening, but it didn't. So I just picked it up this morning. Hello, chicken. Good morning, chicken. And I've been worried about it. But everything just came. I'm going to show you guys. Um, I'm just going to get back. Because I just... I've just been trying to get back into the flow. I just feel like I was disrupted last week rudely and I did not like it like that at all. It's a bit frustrating. I had so many plans for the past two weeks. A lot of content I wanted to put out. And it's so frustrating sometimes that you do everything to make sure that things are a certain way. And still, you cannot avoid madness sometimes here. Or wahala, you know. So let me show you guys what my mom sent so look at everything they're all still frozen i'm so surprised and i'm actually so happy so the first thing is um bitter leaf soup of course this is my favorite soup this is onubu so she sent me onubu and this one is ofako this is um um it's like the Igbo version of banga but we use it to eat rice she made this for me and <laughs> i'm so happy and then she also made this local stew that she likes to make so this um is um i think it's just it's tomato stew but there's a bay inside and then the last thing here is oha soup right um everything came intact i'm just so happy <laughs> This is so funny, like I've been laughing. Okay, so when I opened the bag where my mom put the soups, um, I saw that there was something that wasn't soup inside, like tied up. And then I opened it up and I saw that these were like tights slash um, biker shorts. And I'm like, when my mom sent me this and I remember that. She came to Lagos one time and I was wearing one short dress. <laughs> Guys, this is actually very funny to me. And I think that this is even going to be big, but then at least the woman tried. She wanted to make sure that I was wearing long shorts under my short dresses. <sighs> Bruh. I just got out of the shower and I've done my skincare. So I love how supple everything looks. Um, guys, I think that that'll probably be it. I want to make pancakes for breakfast is almost 12 i tend to break my fast by 12. i saw this recipe for pancakes on youtube and it's like 50 calories per pancake and with this particular recipe like it's just for one person so i don't have to cut down or anything so let's try it
guys this was a fail this recipe said <laughs> one teaspoon vanilla and i thought that i could just substitute with vanilla essence because that's what i have i don't have powder vanilla i'm actually reading the comments now and seeing that it has to be powder vanilla so i'm going to try and see if i can i've asked someone to help me see if they can get powder vanilla from ebano so i'll try it again and let you guys know if it works <laughs> these are good but then something i think was wrong with the ingredients that i used first of all i don't think that they're as fluffy as they looked in the video that the lady shared they actually taste really good but they were not as fluffy hers were so fluffy these ones not as much um i think that something was wrong first i didn't have powder vanilla and i think that that adds to the overall structure you get right i had vanilla essence i didn't even have extract um, extract is very difficult to come by here in lagos i don't know why and i could not find powder vanilla i checked about three supermarkets after my first attempt i couldn't find powder vanilla so i had to redo it again using vanilla essence right so i think that it does not like so when i start whisking it does not rise as much as has did i'm going to have the link to the recipe that i use in the description box so it does not rise as much as has does in the video um and I just suspect that that has something to do with the vanilla essence. But then outside of that, when she adds her Greek yogurt, it doesn't deflate. But every time I added Greek yogurt to my mix, it just deflates. And I think that that's what affects the consistency that I just ended up with. Or what affected the consistency that I ended up with. So at this point, I don't know if it was the vanilla powder that I did not use. Or if it was the type of Greek yogurt that I was using yeah well this is nice regardless and i'm going to finish it <laughs> um i've already finished with this vlog but it's sunday morning just woken up and i'm seeing that Ini is dead and he went to look for a job a couple of days ago after she left she sent her friend a voice note a couple of hours of her like in distress they tried to call her because it was a very short voice note trying to call her she wasn't picking she didn't reply any of the other text messages the girl brought it to twitter very quickly people on twitter were able to find the person attached to that phone number we've woken up this morning and we're seeing that he killed her and he's dead she was raped and killed and buried in a shallow grave women are not safe girls are not safe Every time we come to talk about this, these issues, there's always a level of gaslighting. But we're not safe. We're not safe. What did Ini do? Ini went to look for a job. Women are not guaranteed safety at home. They're not guaranteed safety on their way to work. They're not guaranteed safety on their way to interviews or when they're looking for a job. They're not guaranteed safety at their workplace. Um, young girls are not guaranteed safety just by even existing because look at the whole Babi Jesha case you know if not for strong women like Iyabojo and the way they've taken this whole thing up and because of social media he would have easily gotten away with this if not for cameras and phones and CCTV he could have gotten away with this may any soul rest in peace I pray that her family finds comfort I pray they are comforted I pray that her friend Umo, I, I think her name is Umo, is comforted as well. I listened to her voice notes on Twitter today and I cried. I had tears run down my eyes. That type of pain. What did her friend do? Her friend went to look for a job. 
and she was raped and killed. Look at the young girl, princess's daughter. A man as big as Babi Jasha. You know, he spoke. I'd, I've never, I've never heard about him until all of this happened. But you think that he's a celebrity? A lot of there are a lot of Yoruba women who would gladly want to be with him. He's popular. Women like popular men. But he did not like those people back. He went to go and find a helpless young seven-year-old to make her life hell. It's never about what women and girls do. This whole thing is a power issue. I've said it before. I'll say it again. Because tell me what Babi Jasha excuse, excuse is. When this first came on the news, people were asking for evidence. You're very stupid if you're asking people to show you CCTV footage of someone molesting a child, a minor. In as much as a lot of us didn't even want to see those clips. Wake up this morning, what do we see? The CCTV footage is online. Yeah, they tried to blow the girl's face, but the video is online. And one of the versions I saw has the watermark of a big publication like Punch. Punch, shame on you. Shame on you. A big shame. Guys, I'm so upset. God. I've cried this morning. Like, I feel like I think about all of this and I think about where I was last week. I didn't do anything to anybody. But men think that they can do things and get away with it. They know that they have a society that backs them up, that enables them in one way or the other. May any soul rest in peace, God. May our soul rest in peace. And I pray that Princess's daughter gets justice. I know that a lot of you use my vlogs to kind of end your week, etc. But this one is just heavy. Okay, there's nothing fun going on here. And that's the reality. That's my life. That's what I show you guys. So... I'll see you guys in my next one.